Hello YouTube, I'm Quantum Fear and welcome to another one of my videos. This is a Batman Arkham City walkthrough. This is um, going through Wonder City and getting to Ra's al Ghul. This is part one. Uh, so let's get this going and see what happens. Okay, Horrible. so just a warning. This it's particular uh, not stealing the weapons video strange. is not strange is what I call more exciting. The there isn't a whole lot of... Uh, sure? Of course you're sure. Um, I scan the globe there. There's not Maybe a whole lot of action goes on here, so just kind of stick with it I'm going or to look uh, go on to part okay, two. Um, once you finish with this room originally, you can go and Don't grab the globe it. and this one question mark here. And you can, if you hadn't already, you can also grab um, the uh, Titan formula, which is over there. There's also one, this a demon head that you can yank off the wall. I and I will show you that in just a minute here. It's right there. Um, I had to get onto the second level. You may uh, to uh, to be able to yank it off the wall, but this is, it is there. And once you're done, just go through the door. You follow and uh, follow the corridor until you get, um, I guess, to the ninjas at the end. This world is doomed. And all you need to do is zap the uh, things in the in the in the floor to open up the doors. With your uh, your taser gun there. Um, you're really the first fight against uh, well the, the ninjas. Um, they have two attacks, even though they have their, the the blades. As you can see, they have the yellow ones, which is a standard blade dodge maneuver, and then you have the blue ones, which uh, you can use um, your counter. What makes them tricky is that they can do this thing where they smoke out of your way. It, um, I'm not, it's only certain attacks that they do it to. I'm not exactly sure which ones. But uh, just stay out of the way of their swords and uh, smack in the head when you uh, get the chance to. Um, and to free up this door, you just got to put a little bit of dynamite on the floor and zap the floor thing. And this is Wonder City. Or at least the entrance, I guess. I'm not sure if this is the whole thing. Um, after running up to the door, the tracker you get a quick little... But the door looks like it's and, been sealed um, for decades. Quick cutscene here, and it says that you have to go the through it. Must be using another um, way and to get what you have to do is go around scanning the mechanical guardians. These must be the famous mechanical um, guardians of Wonder City. It make looks it, like put the tape together. It kind of shows you, I'm detecting a you know, kind of where, how the ninja got through. Almost the one that you're, you've been tracking. Perhaps I can... Don't forget to grab that, gar that demon head right there. After uh, the first three, you actually start getting attacked the by the ninjas. Um, this is there's only one or two the at the most, should have been so it's not a big then. deal. It looks like the data is stored in a shared memory pool. Just you know, deal with them Maybe best I you can. can. Retrieve the information from the other guardians down here.
You'll notice right here that I'm standing on a pressure pad. Um, this is actually, it's not too bad. <clears throat> you just got to touch all three pressure pads before you touch the normal floor. And in order to timer it, you actually have to get off the, the line launcher, you know, a good half a second to a second before you you land on the, you get over the pad. Otherwise, you'll just skip right over it. Um, it's just a matter of timing, a little bit of practice. Uh, so it's not too bad. This uh, wall right here is important to uh, blow up, uh, if only for the question mark that's actually behind you. Um, it makes that particular maneuver much, much easier if you all you got it if you uh, get rid of that wall, it gives you more room to loop around, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Assembled surveillance footage shows so this is what happens when you um, she must have been using a you find out uh, where the uh, find it. entrance is. What it'll only play through once and then get really small and then you you can kind of it's the upper right hand corner so it's not too obtrusive. Um, I kind of went hunting for a, another question mark so that's why I edited the, uh, a little bit of that out. And here was fun, what I and, uh, not really funny but one thing you do is it, oh I need a sword and then this chick pops up. And you actually managed to take her out with one hand, so I must say something about Batman, or these girls really need to train a little harder. So here we are. Um, take out this wall, and this will allow you the trap with a question mark in it. And once you do that, you leave the hallway and then throw the uh, the batarang, the remote control one. I prefer. You can go through that door. I prefer this window over here. So you just kind of throw. And go into it. it. See, I think it's less a little better access to the uh, vent here to use. Then you go down, and here's where you use the wall that you blew up to give you a little extra room to do a Yui, and then hit the bottom of the question mark. You then run in there as quick as you can, and uh, as you can see, I, li I like to use my grapple line real quick just to uh, you know beat the timer. Um, in order to get that question mark, you need the uh, mine disruptor. Um, attachment. And here we go, another quick cutscene. This particular one is, uh, you know, you have to have an all Batman event, uh, stories about his parents. one of these little scenes in uh, the Arkham Asylum too where oh you couldn't actually oh walk any faster than like a crawl it was really annoying then too um, here you just have Oracle telling you that oh my god you're gonna die it wouldn't be much of a game if you did though so I wasn't real worried but there's nothing actually around in those first two rooms in this room there are two demon heads that you can yank off the wall but you can't actually um, do that yet because you can't access to the belt just as you get up here the cutscene and you get Talia al Ghul which is one of Bruce one of two women that Bruce may actually care about three I guess if you are three if you count the bat the bat girls I happen to like Talia an awful lot mostly because uh, the voice actor is Stana Katik who plays Kate Beckett on Castle and she is just steamy hot and so I, I actually did not cut out the cutscene uh, in a little bit here because it's just a good cutscene and I enjoy listening to her. Your journey but yeah, but that's it for this video. This um, you go through the door and that starts the actual Let's test itself. So I will, um, Are you sure, if you, guys, if you like this, Only one man like has button, passed this um, and leave a comment. Are you I'll trying to talk me out of this? Of course not. I just, I just want you to be certain. When the blood of the demon takes hold, you will be on your own. Like always. 
Then may the spirits be kind. <laughs>